what is the cost of lies? It's not that we'll mistake them for the truth. The real danger is that if we hear enough lies, then we no longer recognize the truth at all. What can we do then? What else is left but to abandon even the hope of truth and content ourselves instead with stories. In these stories, it doesn't matter who the heroes are. All we want to know is who is to blame. In this story, it was Anatoly Dyatlov. He was the best choice. An arrogant, unpleasant man. He ran the room that night. He gave the orders. No friends. Or at least, not important ones. And now, Dyatlov will spend the next 10 years in a prison labor camp. Our goal is the happiness of all mankind. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Sooner or later, that debt is paid. Lies. So it is their fault. Yes. But not only their fault. No. You have a chance to talk to the world, Valeri. If that chance was mine. But it isn't, is it? I've known braver souls than you, Hamyo. Men who had their moment and did nothing. Because when it's your life and the lives of everyone you love, your moral conviction doesn't mean anything. We live in a country where children have to die to save their mothers. I serve the Soviet Union. I serve the Soviet Union. No duty, no authority, no friend. No one will talk to you. No one will listen to you. Other men, less of them, will receive credit for what you have done. Your legacy is now their legacy. You will live long enough to see that. To be a scientist is to be naive. We are so focused on our search for truth, we fail to consider how few actually want us to find it. But it is always there, whether we see it or not, whether we choose to or not. The truth doesn't care about our needs or wants. It doesn't care about our governments, our ideologies, our religions. It will lie in wait for all time. And this, at last, is the gift of Chernobyl. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? <laughs>